find integral cos x plus cot x plus cosec x plus 1 whole divided by sin x plus tan x plus sec x plus 1 dx. Okay, this is the integral we have to solve. So, in order to find value of this integral, at first consider our function here that is cos x plus cot x plus cosec x plus 1 whole divided by sin x plus tan x plus sec x plus 1 dx. At first, we can notice that here we have a couple of trigonometry functions here which, which are not in a pattern or something. So, in order to make this in a pattern, what we are going to do is at first we are going to make the numerator in and denominator in terms of cos x and sin x only. Okay. We are rewriting the numerator and denominator in terms of cos x and sin x here. Okay. For that, that is first term is cos x. What about cot x? That is cos x by sin x. Cosec x is 1 by sin x. 1 is 1 itself. Now, sin x is sin x. Tan x is sin x by cos x. Sec x is 1 by cos x. Plus 1 is 1 itself. Okay. In the next step, what we are going to do is we are taking cos x outside from the numerator and sin x outside from the denominator. Then we will get on taking cos x outside of the denominator, sorry, numerator, we will get 1. Here on taking cos x, what will remain? 1 by sin x. Here on taking cos x, what will remain? Sin x into cos x. That is, here we have no cos x term. So, assume the 1 as cos x by cos x. On taking 1 cos x outside, what will remain? Other cos x. That is cos x by cos x. On taking numerator outside, what will remain? The denominator. That is 1 by sin x into cos x. Now, assume this 1 as cos x by cos x. On taking numerator outside, what will remain? The denominator cos x. Similarly, here on taking sin x, 1 will remain. Here, on taking sin x, 1 by cos x will remain. Here we have no sin x term. So, assuming sin x by sin x as 1, on taking sin x outside, what will remain? The denominator sin x. Here also, one we are assuming 1 as sin x by sin x. On taking sin x outside, 1 by sin x remain. Now, at first observe this term. That is, we have a sum of a few trigonometric functions here. Here we have a 1. Here also we have a 1. Here we have a 1 by sin x. Here also we have a 1 by sin x. Here we have 1 by cos x. Here also we have 1 by cos x. Here we have 1 by sin x cos x. Here also 1 by sin x cos x. That is what we can observe. The numerator and denominator are same. Okay. That is sum of the terms in numerator and sum of the terms in denominator are the same. So we can cancel these two terms each other. Then what will remain? Integral of cos x by sin x dx. Now, what is integral of cos x by sin x? We can see that the derivative of denominator is in the numerator. That is sin x derivative is in the numerator. That is cos x. So, we can rewrite, sorry, we can write the value of integral as log mod sin x plus c. That is, if we have the derivative of denominator in the numerator then we can directly write the value of integral as log mod denominator plus c so what is the value of our integral which is equal to log mod sin x plus c okay